let us go and see how we can generate the privacy info file for our flutter as well as the ios application and if you have been publishing the app to the app store you may be receiving some uh, notification or the email from the apple that you need to provide the privacy info file and today we are going to see how we can create that particular file over here so let's go to let's open your project in the vs code if you are on the flutter and i'll go to the ios folder over here and i'll just right click over here and open in the x code over here and once it's open in the x code we'll go to the uh, menu from here file and then uh, new and then the new file from here and here you can go and search for the privacy file over here and app privacy and just click on next over here and then create it so i have already created that particular file so from here you just have to create it and you don't have to check any of these particular target over here once you have created this particular file so let's just go and cancel this one that file should be generated uh, over here you can see that we have generated that particular file over here and if you go and see that is added to the ios folder over here and now once we have that what we need to do is we need to generate or we need to create a build for our application so let's go to the uh, product over here and let's go and add strip or let's go and create a production build over here so this should go and create a production build for us and it will take some time so let's go and wait for it to complete over here and once the build has been successful you'll see that it is on your attributes over here this is the current build that we have generated over here and what you can do is you can just right click from here and you will go to uh, let's open up this and so let's click right click over here and let's generate a privacy report so let's generate a privacy report from here and let's just go and export that one and now let us go and open up that particular privacy report file and once you open that particular file are you uh, this is a pdf file that is generated for us you can see that we have the contact info right and uh, you have the uh, let me make it a little bigger over here and you can see that is a tracking and then the tracking and then the linked and for that one it's just a uh, the tracking is no and then the linked each of the yes so let's try to uh, make it a little bit smaller so we can just go and take a look on the whole of this particular file so we have the contact info right name now uh, we are collecting the email address and this app is also collecting the phone number and tracking it's all of the no and linked it's all of the yes and then you can see that is for we are using it for the app functionality app functionality all of those are for the app functionality and you can go through all of this report that is generated this is also using the cross location tracking is no and linked is of yes and it's also used for the app functionality over here and this is for the user identity uh, we have the tracking no linked each also the uh, yes and some of our no over here uh, we have the user id and then the device id over here similarly we have the other data users crash data and then the uh, other diagnostic data so just go through this particular report generated and once this is generated for you uh, you can just go and add it manually to your privacy info file or uh, once you try to add it manually it's quite complicated that you have to add all of those information but what we can do is i found a pretty good uh, website over here that is the we make after this net memphis maker so you can go to this particular link over here and it can help you to generate that particular file pretty easily so what we have to do is once we generate this particular file let's go on to the top we have the contact info over here so in the collected data so these are the collected data from your application so we need to go back over here and we'll just go and set the collected data type and the first one is the we are not using any tracking so this one should be the contact info name that is what we are collecting from here as a name and then we need to set that the it is just used for tracking and not used for uh, the okay so not used for tracking but used for the linked as a user identity that is what we have linked is yes and tracking is no 
and the purpose is for the app functionality so how you can get that is this is the one the app functionality that you have similarly you have the email address so we need to go and add the one more and we'll say the email address over here and it is also used for the link to the user identity over here and also for the app functionality and not used for the tracking and we need to add one more that is of the phone number so that is also used for the link to the user identity and it is also for the app functionality and if you go back over here that is what we get over here so we have the name email and then the phone number so first if you have both of these to be of the true so let's go and see if the both of these are true so i i guess we don't have any of those that requires both of the linked and then the tracking is true over here so all of these are just for the linked so you can add all of this information uh, one by one over here like you can just go to uh, the next section which is of the uh, location i guess so we have the location and you have to go to the uh, location from here and you are using the co course location and just uh, use it for the link to the user identity and this is also for the app functionality so you need to check what is this used for it is used for linked and not used for the tracking over here so that is what you have to select and once you add all of those particular um the the collected data types over here next thing is that uh, you can say that the privacy and then the tracking your app use data for tracking so we are not using anything for tracking uh, we are not using any track the user data for tracking so i'll just go ahead and uncheck this one and then if you are, if you are if you have an app that is uh, used for the data for the tracking the user and you have to select this and add the domain name over here and currently we don't have any of those and then you may have some time the required api version um so required the region for the api so sometimes your application or the third party um, the packages that you are using in your application uh, may also be using some kind of the storage and all of those information so let's go and select the user default api and you can see the write and then read information access only by app so you can just select all of uh, the required information from here and like and you can just add that one and also let's go and select like the if you are using for the system um, boot time api right disk space api and then the, you can just go and say the disk space display the disk space to the user check the uh, sufficient disk space to write a file so if you are accessing this particular apis then you have to enable this and you have to check why you are using so you need to provide the reason why you are using that particular api over here so let's go and select the one more time the file uh the timestamp if you are accessing the file timestamp to um do some information or you want to check something so even if you you are not accessing it your third package third party packages that you have installed in your application may be accessing it so uh, you need to um, be pretty sure that what is it accessing and you have to provide the reason otherwise the apple is not going to allow you to upload your or it is not going to approve your application to be published to the app store and now you have to be pretty sure what your application um, your code as well as the third party code is accessing and then you have to generate this particular file and then upload it if you are using any packages and make sure that if they have that particular uh, file privacy info file that would be pretty good if they have this particular privacy info file for your third party packages that you are using then then you can just make use of that one otherwise if uh, that is not there and then uh, apple will obviously go and give you a, give you a notification that some um, the required api region is missing or some data collected types are missing so you need to fill in all of those information and you can just go and uh, download this particular file so you can see it has been generated now you can just open this uh, information so you can just open and go and paste it to this particular file so this is the uh, production app that i'm currently working on and recently i had published it to the app store and it was giving me an error so i was trying to find how to generate this particular file it was really complicated uh, to generate this particular file 
So I found this particular website which helped me to generate this particular file and finally it was approved by the Apple. So these are all of these I have added to over here and you can see it's quite a lot that I have to provide it over here. And uh, you can also open up in this particular file. Let's go and close this one. Let's go to the file and in the privacy info, you, you can also go and edit or you can also add it from here. But basically that's really, uh, you can see that it is really complicated. So you have to add a lot of information. You need to exactly know what all, all of this and uh, where to put, whether it's a true, whether it's a false, right? Whether it's a yes and no and all of those information that you need to manually add in. But it takes a lot of time. So you can just go and generate this particular file from the wemakeapps.net slash and the Memphis that's the maker. They have done a pretty good job and uh, I would like to thank them for making this particular uh, the application available for us to generate this particular info. Otherwise, it was really hard to generate this one. And I hope you guys got it how to generate this particular file. Uh, you can use this for the Flutter application or you can also make use if you are, use, uh, if you are a native iOS developer. So that's all and uh, this file I don't need, require it so I just need to delete that otherwise I will forg forget it and commit it to my repo over here and that should be good enough. So um, uh, you can be pretty sure that uh, once I generate this and publish uh, everything was correct over here and uh, I published my application and it was approved by the, um, the Apple itself. So that's all for this lesson and thanks for watching and let's meet up in the next one. Till then have a great day.